Hey guys, what is up? It is the Fast Break Report here bringing you guys another vlog. So I want to talk about the Los Angeles Clippers and how the Los Angeles Clippers experiment has failed. Um, and it's not really because of anything Doc Rivers or Tyron Lue has done or whatever. I mean, uh, their, their head coach now, if I'm correct, is Tyron Lue. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, Tyron Lue's their head coach now. Um, but they're fifth in defense, uh, like defensive rating, their fifth offensive rating, their 28th. And when I tell you this is a team that really misses Kawhi Leonard, it's a team that's really missing Kawhi Leonard. Um, you know, they're really good at defense. Their offense is not horrendous. Like their offense is still good, but it's not great. And the, the shittiest part about this whole thing is is Kawhi Leonard is one of my favorite basketball players to watch. Um, you know, when I watch him play, I just feel like play style-wise, like he's very much like Michael Jordan. Um, as far as the way that he articulates his offense, the way he does everything, to me, it's just like, just play style-wise, he reminds me of Michael Jordan. And I've been a Paul George fan since he was drafted. Paul, I watched Paul George play at Fresno State. Um, he was the reason I even became a Pacers fan. And, um, you know, even though Paul George is kind of the asshat of all jokes these, these days when it comes to playoff P and pandemic P and shit like that, I still would, I still like to see Paul George do well. And the reason I was so excited for this team in the first place is because the Pacers were supposed to draft Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. And they actually did. It's just they traded fucking Kawhi Leonard for George Hill. And at the time, I understand why they did it. But it's just the idea, like, I was finally going to get to see in Los Angeles what should have happened in Indiana, right? So that's why I was so excited for this when, when it initially happened. And now I look at this team and this roster, and I'm like, they're not horrible, but they're not great either. And I just feel like the Kawhi Leonard, Paul George experiment has officially fucking failed. Um, mostly because Paul, not, not because of Paul George, but because Kawhi Leonard has not played 70 games since the 2016-2017 season. Um, even in 2018-2019, when Paul, um, when Kawhi Leonard won the championship with Toronto, he only played 60 games. And every single year since then, as well, he's been playing less and less games every year. You know, after the Toronto years, he went to LA. Then in LA, his first year, he played 57 games. Second year, he played 52 games. Third year was last year where he had the, the ACL injury and didn't play at all. And now this year, we're already about 20, 25 games in almost. And he's only played six fucking games for them and has only started for four of them. And is shooting 11% from three. 80% from the free throw line, 43% from the field, and is only averaging 11 points per game. And with the amount of money they're paying Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi Leonard's contract is now just dead fucking cap space for the, the Los Angeles Clippers. I'm just going to call it what it is. He's making $38 million this year, and he doesn't become an unrestricted free agent until 2025. Same thing with Paul George. Paul George does not become an unrestricted free agent until 2025. And I just have a bizarre feeling that Kawhi Leonard is not going to be a Clipper until 2025. I just don't see it happening. Um, the Clippers are at a point where... Kawhi Leonard has to do one of two things. He has to perform at an all-star level, or he just has to agree to a buyout. That's that's what I think is going to happen eventually at some point, because I just don't see any team that's going to trade for Kawhi Leonard when he's extremely injury prone, it seems. It seems like he's not even playing back-to-backs, like he's not playing back-to-backs for the Clippers now, so why should I expect him to play back-to-backs when he get, is just going to get older? You know what I'm saying? And he's just, like I said, just been regressing over time as far as the amount of games he's been playing. And I, it sucks because I want to like this team. I think they're fun to watch, but I would really like to see Kawhi Leonard out there with Paul George, and I just don't get to see it. And I think Paul, or Paul George, I keep wanting to say Paul George. I still think Kawhi Leonard is capable of going out there and averaging like 20, 21 a game. But, you know, how, how much does that really matter when he's only going to play like 20 games for you? And I feel like that's what the Clippers are going to do from here on out. I'm just going to say that. And like, from now on, I wouldn't even take Kawhi Leonard in your fucking fantasy leagues anymore unless you get like, you unless you get him at like the very bottom of your draft. Because he's not going to play back-to-backs for them. 
And what they're going to do is play him every single fucking game in the playoffs. That's what's going to happen. That's the only way they can preserve Kawhi Leonard is to not play him in back-to-backs during the regular season, just use him as sparingly as possible, and then once the playoffs come, then they give him the keys to the Ferrari and are like, hey, take us to the fucking promised land. Like, that's what's going to happen. And I just feel like for the rest of his career in in Los Angeles, because of the ACL injury, because of the foot injury and everything... They, they're going to continue just to just keep him on load management as much as humanly fucking possible. Like, uh, against the teams where they're playing games like Houston and San Antonio and, like, the, the, the teams that are, like, the bottom feeders of the fucking league, they're not even going to play him. Like, I, I'm just calling it what it is. They are not even going to play Kawhi Leonard in those games because, it's like, why risk injuring him even more when you're playing against a team that you know you don't need him and you're going to go out there and beat the fucking brakes off of him? You know what I'm saying? So... I just feel like this Kawhi Leonard Paul George experiment has failed and the worst part of the whole thing is they've tied up so much cap space between Paul George and Kawhi Leonard that they're like they can't sign anybody in free agency like it's just not going to happen they're not going to be able to sign anybody in free agency to fill Kawhi Leonard's role because he's making just so much fucking money and then on top of it they don't own any other fucking draft picks. Like, they don't, earn, they don't own a first-round pick until, I think, like, 2027. I mean, every single pick they own is a second-round pick, and Oklahoma City owns the pick or the pick swap on every single fucking draft pick until then. So, I'm like, every single first-round pick that the Clippers had, Oklahoma City now owns. So, and that's, that's from the Paul George trade. So... I don't know, man. You know what? I feel like this whole thing backfired. I mean, this is kind of what happens when you put all your eggs in one fucking basket. Like, I get it. Paul George had an MVP caliber season that year when they traded for him. It's it's completely understandable why they tried to put them both together. You know, they're two of the best two-way players in the fucking game. But they really, really, really need somebody else outside of Kawhi Leonard. Who knows? Maybe, I don't know, somebody, maybe they get lucky and maybe, maybe, I don't know, something happens and LeBron wants to go there, right? After the the Los Angeles Lakers thing is done. Maybe in his last year, he, he says, fuck it, I'll go there on a vet minimum deal like John Wall did and they become this amazing fucking basketball team again and LeBron only plays 60 games instead of Kawhi. I don't know, but like, to me... This just seems like this experiment is over. And yes, there'll be a playoff team. Like, I I think the Clippers are good enough to continue being a playoff team, but they're not going to be a team good enough to win a championship. You know, they play great defense, but their offense really suffers. And I just think going forward, that's the direction this team is going to go in. And it sucks because their backs are against the wall. You know, like, this is a team that is hard-pressed for cash. They're tied up all their money in one superstar that really can't play much. You know, so, I don't know, man. We'll have to wait and see. I hope Kawhi Leonard comes back to all-star form. Like, I just hope he hits the gym like crazy this upcoming offseason, and we get to see Kawhi Leonard of old again. I would really like to see this team be competitive, especially now that they have John Wall and Paul George on their roster, two guys who have never won a ring. Like, I would just love to see it, and I feel like the roster they have right now is very, very solid for, you know, the one piece that they're missing, um, so... I hope they can get it together. I would love to see this team come back next year. I would love to see Kawhi return to all-star caliber form, but I just don't know if it's going to happen. So anyway, guys, that's it for me. Tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section below. A like helps me out. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. I'm the Fast Break Report, and I'm out of this motherfucker. Peace, guys.